Hi, I'm Engineer Dan, and with me is CB, a wholesome cement bag and an expert builder and an engineer's best buddy. Hello there. We're here to tell you about building buildings. Okay, let's begin. Now, when you want to build something, what do you think you will need? Tools. Yes, tools. What else? Building materials. Correct. And what is the most important building material you'll need when constructing? Ta-da! Of course you're right, CB. Cement. Now, when... Uh, CB, what are you doing? Huh? Well, <clears throat> you see, Engineer Dan, I've always wondered how I'm made by Wholesome. I just want to know what makes us good quality cement. I see. Well... How Wholesome makes cement is just as interesting as learning about how to use it. Want me to tell you everything? That would be awesome! Okay, let's start from the beginning. But first, we have to wear the safety gear, hard hat, and safety boots. Is that where I come from? Well, part of you does. These land areas are quarrying sites. Those are big rocks! What are they? Limestone the main ingredient for making cement. Huge dozers or traxcavators rip the rock sides. The first step is called raw material extraction. Hey, it's a dozer. Hello? Mr. Engineer Dan, thought I could help you explain what we do at the quarry site. Great idea, dozer. Lead on. Well, when mining, we carefully survey an area first then, using a controlled, modern process, we quarry only what we need. This way, we maximize the resources and don't waste materials. But where do you bring the rocks next? Oh, that part I'll let Dump Truck tell you. Here he comes. Well, gotta get back to work. See you around. Thanks, Doser, for helping out. Let's ask Dump Truck your question, CB. Hey, Dump Truck! How are things? Yo, it's Dandy, engineer man. Well, same. Same these guys are as heavy as ever. More limestone! That's right, dude. Hey, you guys ready to be hauled to the crusher machine? Yep. Yeah, Andy. Hey, it's cold in here. Oh, I feel awesome. The crusher machine? Uh-huh. That's where the huge limestone rocks are crushed to usable sizes to make cement. You've got to see it, CB. These dudes enjoy it. Let's go to the crusher machine. Hooray! The crush of evil go! The crush of evil go! I hold the man, Leo, the crush of evil go! This is the crusher machine, and this is where the second step, the raw material preparation, happens. In you go, guys. Whoopee! Bye! So long! See ya! From sizes of about 1.5 meters, the crusher machine crushes the limestone to about 30 to 100 millimeters. After being crushed, the limestone are transported by conveyor belts to the storage hall. Look, CB, it's all the ingredients we use to make cement coming this way. Ooh, I'd like to meet them. Guys, over here. I'd like you to meet my buddy, CB. First of all, CB, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Shell. Limestone here. It's all pilot. Ahem. And of no doubt, Silica here. Where have you guys come from? Well, Limestone and I have just come from pre-blending. Where they have been stacked in stockpiles to ensure reduced chemistry variability prior to proceeding to the raw mill. Huh? <laughs> All he's trying to say is that limestone and I have come from a process that will allow us to mix better. Yeah, the pre-blending makes us better raw materials so we can cook better. Cook? What are you, boy, cooking? Let me try to explain. You see, CB, making cement is a lot like cooking. You tie your apron on, you pop your chef's hat up, then you get your bowl and you shake yourself around. You pop your four ingredients, mix them all around. That's what it's all about. Thank you, thank you. So that's how I'm made. Well, cooking is just part of the process. Almost the last step, actually. Because before that, 
we need to grind and dry the raw materials to make raw meal. From the storage hall, the rocks are poured into feed bins to the vertical roller or tube mills for grinding. From the raw mill, we enter the raw mill silos for homogenization. In other words, we are blended together to get just the right consistency. Yeah, then to the drying we go. Drying makes it easier for us to cook in a cooking oven. But before cooking, we need fuel to produce the correct flame. Fine coal, fuel oil, and natural gas can be used, but alternative fuel resources are preferred to preserve natural fuels. Let's walk over there, where the next step, the clinker production, burning and cooling happens. We'll stay here, guys. Bye, little guy. It was a pleasure. Bye! Great meeting you all.